Hi, Young Ray. Good morning. Good morning. Did you have any trouble signing in? Did you, was it easy to come online? Young Ray? Yes. Did you have any troubles getting signed in? Yes. Uh, no, no, no. No troubles. That's good. Easy. Well, right now we have four people in the room. I'm hoping for a minimum of seven, six or seven, so that we can have this class. I don't want this class to be canceled. Uh, I'm sure you don't either. <laughs> That's great. Now we got five. Come on. Another one. Let's have another one. Hi, Yansu. Hi. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, Yansu. Yansu. Yes. Good. You're at home. Ah, uh, yes. I am home. <laughs> and you as well, uh, Young Ray. Are you also at home? Yes, I know. Okay. Are you both living in uh, Daegu at the moment? Uh, uh, repeat, please. Do you live in Daegu? Uh, no, no, I'm in Pohang. Pohang. Very nice. Yes. Very nice. What about you, uh, Yan Yansu? Where are you? Where are you? Uh, I am Daegu. Daegu, right. Yes. Is it raining in uh, Yangrei? Is it is it raining in uh, Pohang now? Uh, now is no. No, no. Okay. Yesterday, oh, uh, raining. Heavy rain. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Mina, please. Ah, oh, good, Mina. Hi. Thank you very much. Hi. Hi, Mina. Hi, hey, hi, Heyman. So, or Mina. Mina, could you uh, 
turn on your camera or do you have um, one? Do you have a camera? Please, Mia? please wait. No problem. Yes, no problem. Good. Oh, boy. So, uh, Sudin, where, where are you located now? Um, I'm in Gyeongsang. Gyeongsang City? Uh, yes. Okay, okay. Great. Hi there. Okay, so hello everybody. We're going to get started. Actually, what I plan to do next week, we're going to be online next week, but maybe we'll be in class in two weeks. Okay. Um, so just letting you know, that's, that's what I understand. So there's still one person who's not here. So we'll wait for uh, five, uh, three more, two or three more minutes. And then we'll get started. What I'm going to do is uh, take attendance, uh, introduce myself. You don't have to introduce yourself uh, yet maybe next week because this is the uh, the first week and maybe you're a little bit uh, shy and nervous and not ready to speak uh, so I'll give you a chance to uh, introduce yourselves next week so I am uh, in uh, Haiyang right now in my apartment just to let you know where I am. Have any of you taken my class? Did any of you take my class last semester? No? Okay. people. Okay, we're going to get started now. So I'm just going to take attendance. So when I say your name, just say, hello, I'm here, present, something like that. So um, Kim Min Hyung? Yes. Okay, good. Glad to have you. Um, Bang. Chan Shik. Is that right? Hi. Okay. Be Sudin. Okay. Oh Sang Wan. Oh. Okay, we'll say absent. Uh E Chan Su. Yes. E He Min. Yes. Chang Young Re. Yes. All right. Good. Okay. So the the first thing that I'm going to do is cover the syllabus. Uh, 
I'm going to go through the syllabus step by step so that you know what's going on. And then I'll give you a chance to ask any questions that you might have about this course. Um, so I don't think we're going to be online all semester. All right. Um, but it's a good opportunity for us to have a look at the LMS to see how to navigate the LMS. All right, so let's do this. Second here. No, nope, not that. All right, prep and review. There it is. Okay, what I'm going to do now is, is I'm going to share the screen so that you can see the syllabus. Oh, it's getting windy again. Okay, so obviously this is Daegu Catholic University. And you're in an intermediate English conversation class. So it's, it's not real beginner. It's not real advanced. It's somewhere in the middle. Uh, this is my, um, the name that you know me as, Gimby. Uh, that, and this is my family name here, and this is my given name. And my, uh, by the way, you can find this on your LMS in the prep and review. Uh, so I'm only going to be speaking English in this class, okay? So I may say some things that you might not understand, I don't know. So, but let's, let's try to really do this all in English. Um, my office, my office is in building B4. B4 is near the museum on campus. It's not far from the big auditorium building, okay? And it's on the main floor there, uh, room 205. So you, there's a chance, an, an outside chance that you're going to meet me there, but it's very unlikely. <clears throat> this is my phone number. Again, you can find this information on the LMS. Let's have a quick look at the LMS. So here it is. And now, I don't know what your LMS looks like, but this is what my LMS looks like. Maybe it's the same, I really don't know. Uh, so you have your column here on the left and you have all these different links. So this is an important one. See where it says prep and review? I'm going to upload many documents there. So that's, that's important. Announcements is also another important link. As you can see, there's the invitation and the announcements. Prep and review is important. Assignments might be important too. I may have you upload assignments here. Okay, I'll, and it's, it, it will, it's, it's fairly easy to um, figure out, I think, I hope. And this is where I send you messages. So I, I, when I sent the message this morning to you um, to sign in five minutes before the beginning, did you, um, did you get that message on your phone? Yes. Everybody, did you get it on your phone? Okay, so, so you know, I know you get a lot of messages on the phone and it's kind of um, annoying. So you get a lot of COVID messages and stuff. So uh, sorry about that. But uh, that's where I'm going to send you messages. I may also send them to your email. Uh, did you get a message on your email about signing up five minutes early? Uh, I, again, I'm trying to understand what's going on on your side. So, 
wait here. Let's just keep going here. Uh, that, that's, that's pretty much about it, I think, about, uh, regarding how to navigate the, uh, the LMS. Okay, now let's go back to the, uh, this. All right, so you, if you have an emergency, you can contact me by phone, okay? Just call me on the phone or, or, or leave a message. And here's my phone number, as I said earlier. Okay, now here's the book. This is the book that you're going to need I don't know where you can buy it. I think you can buy it uh, at the bookstore on campus. Okay, bookstore on campus. It's purple. It's called Breakthrough Plus Two. And it's the student book. You only need the student book. You don't need the workbook. Okay. And here are the units that we're going to cover. There are six units. Next week, we're going to cover unit two, okay? Then four, then six, then nine, like that. May, this, uh, the number one focus in this course is, is speaking. <laughs> the second one is listening. So you're going to do a lot of speaking and a lot of listening. Okay, a little bit of writing too. Now here's the, uh, the evaluation summary. So um, the main thing is keep, keep this in your mind. Always attend class, participate as much as you can and do the best that you can on these different assessments. So for example, see the midterm test? That's worth 20% of your score, okay? And I will explain to you what to do for your midterm before it starts. Then there's the individual presentation. This is where you um, do a PowerPoint presentation. Okay, you'll do the PowerPoint pre presentation probably in class. But if we're back online, you'll, we'll be doing it in the class, uh, on, online. Then there's going to be a group presentation. Your group presentation will involve maybe a couple of groups, maybe one group of three and another group of three, okay? And then uh, there's going to be a quiz. The quiz is pretty simple. Um, It's worth 5%, okay? And it's, it's a multiple choice or small writing. I haven't decided, okay? So you need to do that, it's 5%. And then at the very end of the semester, you're going to do a final listening test exam, all right? It may be at the school. It, it will probably be on campus, okay? Just like last time. So there's the, uh, some more information about the attendance, your participation, the quiz, the midterm, the individual presentation, speech, and the final presentation, final group presentation, and final listening exam. So I don't think this is a very difficult course to do. You just need to show up and do, do the work, okay? You don't have to do a lot of research. You don't have to do a lot of homework. Yay, no homework, woo! Well, a little <laughs> bit of homework, okay? But mostly we do everything in class. So, so far, do you have any questions? So far, okay. Now, let's end the share. Okay, so. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ask each of you a question and we're going to look at how to best respond to a question and interact with someone uh, 
during a conversation. Okay. So some simple questions here. This is a very common one. It's about food. Everybody eats. Everybody, I think, has a certain food that they really like. Okay, so I'm going to ask this question. What's your favorite food? Then I'm going to ask you a follow-up question. Okay, so first question and then second question. All right, we're going to start with uh, Young Rae. So Young Rae, what's your favorite food? Oh, I love curry. Curry? Yes, yes, curry. Ah, okay, good. All right, so he loves curry, all right? So what's a, um, this is for the rest of the class, what's a, a, another question about his love for curry that you can ask? What is another question, a follow-up question that you can ask Young Ned? Any ideas? Uh, what, what is your hobby? Okay, wait. So you said you love curry, right? Yeah. Now I want to know more about that. So I'm going to ask you, oh, um, how often do you eat curry? <laughs> So how often do you eat curry? Uh, uh, it's an one day a week. Okay, thank you very much. Now let's go to uh, Hyunsu. Same question, what's your favorite food, Hyunsu? Um, my favorite food is chicken. I, I like chicken. Okay, good. Okay, let's go back to this, what you said first. So I'm going to point something out. This is a common mistake. Is it I favorite food or my favorite food? Ah, uh, yes. Which, which one is it? Uh, is it my favorite or I favorite? Maybe my favorite food. Exactly. Okay, <laughs> you got that? It's a little bit confusing. I, my. So yes. my favorite food is, or I like, see uh, the difference? It's my yeah. favorite food. This is, <clears throat> this is my smartphone, it's <laughs> mine, okay? Yes. All right, good, uh, one more, so you like chicken? Ah, uh, yes, I like chicken. Uh, uh, okay, now this is a little, maybe a little more difficult. How do you like it? How do you like your chicken? I mean, how do you like it cooked? Yeah. How okay. do you like your chicken cooked? Do you like it fried? Oh, uh, uh, yes, I like fried. Okay, good. Thank you very much. <laughs> now let's go yes. to uh, Min Hyung. Min Hyung, what about you? What's your favorite food? Uh, my favorite food is tteokbokki. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry I'm laughing. I shouldn't uh, because so many of you like tteokbokki. <laughs> uh, where where do you where do you usually eat tteokbokki? Uh, yopki tteokbokki. Do you know? Okay, okay. I don't know <laughs> that place. I don't know that place. Why? Can I ask why do you like tteokbokki? Uh, just I don't know why did I like tteokbokki best for. It just tastes good. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay. All right, thank you very much. Mina, mm. what about you? What's your favorite food? My favorite food is spaghetti. Wow, spaghetti. Um, let's see. Mm. When do you usually eat spaghetti? Mm. Lunch time. <laughs> I see. And where do you usually eat spaghetti? Uh, I'm in home. Who, who cooks the spaghetti? My mom. <laughs> I see. Okay, thank you. Of course, of course your mom does. Uh, and 
Janshik, what about you? Do you have a favorite food? My favorite food is seafood. Okay. Um, let's see. How many times a week do you eat seafood? Mm, maybe every weekend. I see. Okay, good. Is there any reason why you like seafood? No reason. No reason. All it right. just tastes good, right? <laughs> Right. And um, Sudin, what about you? What's your favorite food? Uh, my favorite food is maratang. Is what? Maratang. Uh, this is Chinese food. Wow. Wow. And where do you usually eat this, this Chinese food? Um, Chinese restaurant. Wow. Okay. I don't think I've ever had that. Uh, what is one of the ingredients in this this dish? It, what what's in it? Is is it a rice dish or is it made of rice? Ah, uh, no no no. This is soup. Oh, it's a soup. Okay, okay. Thank you. All right, you guys. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to. Um, put you into a breakout room. It's called a breakout room, okay? And so I'm gonna give you a couple of questions that you're going to um, ask each other. And let's see where, mm, 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 mm. let's see if we can figure this one out. I think what I'll do is I'll put the questions in the chat room, okay? So let me do that now. Just to, to hold on a second. Okay, Did, can you see that question there? It should be, the, the proper English would be whom, whom, but uh, it, in spoken English, we, we say who. And uh, okay, so, Sudin, can you see those two questions there in your chat room? Oh no, I sent it to Mina. I'm sorry. It has to be to everybody. My mistake. I see. Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. So let me send it to everybody. Okay, now can everybody see those two questions? Yes? Yes. Great. So, um, I'm gonna put you into your breakout rooms now. So here we go. So that means that what's gonna happen is you're going to be coupled with a partner. So your partner's just going to show up and then try to try to ask as, as many questions as you can uh, about uh, with regards to these these two questions so who do you live with oh i live with this person this person and this person uh, what do they do oh my mom does this my dad does that like that okay so let me get you into these rooms Okay, so I don't know who's going to pair up with whom. So let's see what happens. There we go. See you later. <laughs> Join the rooms.
Hi guys. <laughs> I'm just I'm just dropping in saying hi. How's it going? Everything okay? Everything okay? Are you talking to each yes. other? Good. Okay. <laughs> See you later. Bye. <laughs>
just for practice purposes, okay? I just want pr uh, asking you to do that. And so, like, what does your what does your father do? Okay, what does your father do? You may have asked that question. Okay, so he is like he is a pilot. He is a cab driver. He is an accountant. Okay, that, that that's the best way to answer it. So let's let's do one more uh, one more question. All right. Let's try this one. The question is, and let me let me put it in the uh, chat room. Here's the question. All right, so that's the question. Um, I'm just going to ask each one of you. We're not going to do the breakout room again. I'm just going to do it directly to you. So let's start with uh, Gunshik. Do you live in a house or an apartment? One more, one more. Do you I'm live in a house or an apartment? Uh, apartment. Can, can you make a sentence? I. Uh, I live around <laughs> my, uh, my house, my apartment. Okay, okay. Uh, let's try uh, Hyunsu. Do you live in a house or an apartment? Uh, I live I live in an apartment with my oh. family. Okay, good. Uh, Min Kyung, do you live in a house or an apartment? I live in an apartment. Say it again. I live in a apartment. Good, good. And Youngde, do you live in a house or an apartment? Oh, I live on apartment. Okay. Mina, what about you? I live in a house. Good. And Sudan, you? I live in house. Okay. All right. Great. So, the best answer. The most accurate answer, if you want to be, I understood all of you, by the way, but you have to include the article. What, what is the article? There are, there are three articles. Okay, there's a, an, and the. So, do you live in a house or an apartment? So, oh, uh, I live no in a house. Okay. You wouldn't, you could say, I live in house, but that's not no, that's right. perfect. It should be, I live in a house, apartment. I live in an apartment. Okay. That's, so just remember the article, a house, an apartment. Do you have a pet? Yes. I have a fish, <laughs> a dog. <laughs> An iguana. All right. So remember the article. You have to throw it in there. I know it's it's really um, it's it's sad, and it's unfortunate that you have to add these certain words in there in order to make it accurate. But you've got to do that. All right. Wow. This meeting just keeps going on and on and on. This is great. Um, okay. Let's do another one. <laughs>